on the roof. So I was here the other day on a PM and uh, I noticed that uh, this wasn't turning very well because you can see the blower wheels destroyed. In fact, it's completely missing some of the vanes in certain sections. So we need to change that out. Um, so we're gonna basically rebuild this. Um, however, train didn't have a lot of things in stock, so I have no new keys. So I have to reuse the old keys and I have to reuse uh, this guy. I do have two new bearings, thank goodness, and a new shaft. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to take this lid off, um, cut the shaft, pull that out, pull that off, pull off the uh, bearing on the other side. And uh, yeah, so this should be interesting. So here we go. Right, so first things first is we need to take off this lid. So we're going to remove 20 billion screws. Uh, See the back, here's the back side of our blower. So it's all haggard. Yeah, so we're just, we're just going to cut the shaft off, make it easy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and loosen our set screw on here first. Uh, okay. So yeah, and we're going to be using Allen wrench for that. Okay, so we got the set screw out. Put a little WD-40 in there. And then we are going to use our fan or our pulley puller thing to pull that out. What the smart thing you can do is if you get a connector where you can it to your drill that'd be great but I don't have one so I'm gonna be using a ratchet. Right. Okay I think we might have to be free. Yep there we go. So we're reusing this and we need our key. Okay, we got our key and we'll, we'll clean this all up once we get it all apart. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and cut the shaft off just so it make it easier to get the blower wheel out. Um, and I get to use my one hand and saws off for the first time. I just got this, this is a, a rigid subcontract, uh, subcompact uh, one-handed sawzall. So, um, I know you guys make fun of me for using rigid, but I like it. It's worked for me. I haven't had any breakdowns and they're a lot cheaper and you can't go wrong with a lifetime service agreement. So but anyway, we're going to cut the shaft. Right, so we're going to pull this side out first. All right. So we're just going to grab that, push it towards us like that. All right. And that is out. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the same uh, for this. Well, if you notice, I've taken off this panel here because this, they decided to weld this part on, so it's gonna be a pain to get this wheel out because we have this, whatever this is here, in the way. So, yeah, that's... Why would they weld this? Why can't they just put screws? So annoying. Oh, it'll never fail, that's why. Okay, well. Anyway, let's get that other side out. Okay, cool. We got the bearing out. Cool. Okay, so we need to get this wheel out. Uh, everything is tack welded in place, so this is going to be interesting. It looks like I'm going to have to take this tube out. Oh, it's for the, uh, what do you call it? It's for the smoke detector, that's nice. Okay, cool. So it looks like we have a rubber hose, so I can, I think I might be able to get it out. Uh, Alright, we got the wheel out. Yeah, that, as you can see, that wheel's pretty haggard. Uh, got pieces of it in here. 
that's probably what that piece of metal is. It's just one of the veins. So now we need to get the shaft off of here so we can get the keys out of there. Okay, so we got all three of them out and I've cleaned them up. But yeah, see this, this is why you want to use new keys is when you put the set screw in there, it makes a little mark in there. So then when you need to slide them out, they get stuck. That's why it's such a pain to get this out. So if you can, always use new keys. I know there's universal ones, um, but I couldn't find any in town. So yeah, that's why I'm reusing these. Adds a lot of extra time for something so small, but we got them out. So we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our unit. So first things first, is we're gonna put the wheel in place um, then we'll put our, sh our bearings in our shaft and then uh, tighten everything down so we got our wheel this is what it used to look like okay now it's very important that we put the wheel in the right way otherwise we're gonna be doing this twice so if we look here we got a rotation so that means it needs to spin this way right so if we look at our wheel we see our scoops here needs to spin that way so that way it'll blow air so that means it's going to go in this way not this way because if we do that you can see here it's not gonna push any air so we need to go in this way all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get on top of this unit and get this wheel in well here we go So now we need to get the bearing and our shaft in there. Okay, so this is our new shaft, so we gotta pay attention to a couple things. So you can see here, there's no keyway here. We have a keyway here, keyway here. That's for the blower. And then this is for the front pulley. So you wanna make sure you go in that way. All right, so your pulley is gonna be on the opposite side. All right, so another thing we need to do is we need to mount our bearing. So we look at our old one here. You can see it's about maybe a sixteenth of an inch sticking out. Now our new bearing is a lot different. So yeah, um, but we're going to pretty much stick with it the same way. All right. So your spoke now. Usually you're going to put some anti seize right here, but I don't have any. to shove this in through here and go through the blower wheel uh, and then we're gonna put the bearing on on the other side and then the pulley okay so now we need to get our bearing into there just like that but we want to make sure that the shaft is coming through the little hole on the other side just want to make sure it's aligned properly before I shove it all the way in there Yep, see, there we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get this in there. So we just gotta push it in until it's all the way seated. Just like that. All right, so now we need to go ahead and put the other bearing in on the other side. to line up our keyways <laughs> just like that in our blower we need to line up our blower and we're gonna shove our keyway in there our alignment looks good and we already got our keys in there now the interesting thing is is because I have those little dimples in there I can't get it in all the way as much as I'd like it to 
So we're gonna have to use a screwdriver and tap on it a little bit. Kind of get it in there. So again, if you can, put new keys. All right, that wasn't so bad. All right, cool. So we got that one in place. I can't believe how easy that was. I was expecting it to uh, be a lot more difficult than that. So this one will probably be the difficult one. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. So we got our keys in there. So we're gonna go ahead and crank these down. All right. She's in there nice and smooth. So now we need to put our pulley on. All right. So. Now we need to go ahead and make sure we line it up with the other pulleys. All right, so now we just need to crank this guy down and we should be good to go. Our rotation, we're just double checking. Yeah, scoops are scooping towards that way. All right. So now we just have to put the whole unit back together and stick that tube back in there um install the belt and then we'll fire it up and hopefully everything works okay so we got her pretty much all put back together uh, i just have to put the screws in but i uh, want to make sure rotation's okay so we're going to go ahead and bring it back on so we're turning on power and now we will wait till it's till it turns on so our blower is running So anyway, that's uh, that's how you change out a blower wheel on a uh, train Voyager unit. Uh, total pain in the butt. I hope you don't have to do it, but uh, yeah, looks like we're good to go. And airflow is going the correct direction, so we put it in right. So we're gonna go ahead and put all the screws and panels back on and call it a day. So hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.